Okay, now it's time to start actually programming this basket. So, right at the top, let's create a few new lines before the opening PHP talk. And let's start with the session variable and we'll assign the session class with the method get session and we'll create this method in just a second and we'll want to get the session called basket as you may remember we've been adding all the time to the basket session obviously now we need to populate all this information from the basket on the next line we'll create the object obg basket and we assign the class of the basket to it okay so basket is instantiated now now out array just an empty array to store all the products and now we check if is an empty session then catalog object catalog new catalog okay now with this uh, instance of the class we can do for each session as key equals value and we'll add to our out array the key equals catalog sorry object catalog get product and a key of the product the id of the product as you may remember sessions we've been creating using key id of the product and a value then obviously we have the key uh we put in this key to the tower array as a key of the as the index of the array and we also get all the information about the product using the same key the id of the product basically so now obviously it all looks fine but we still haven't really populated this information from the session so let's create our get session method if we go back to our browser open our session.php file scroll right to the bottom let's create a few new lines that we can actually clearly see what we're going to be typing here let's close the browser and let's create our public static function get session and session name let's assign null by default first let's check if is an empty name then let's return is set session with the name then we simply return this session otherwise we return null okay and that's everything with this method basically so we've got this covered that's fine scroll down and after the the open uh, sorry the the basket uh, heading let's open a php tag and the condition if is an empty our out array with the details of all products then display our basket then if uh, after the closing div tag we're going to create l statement and in the else statement we'll simply type within it in, in the paragraph your basket is currently empty you can also provide a link to uh, browse through our catalog or something like this i'm just going to leave it like this so if we save the file we go back to our page refresh you can see the basket is gone it's just a message that your basket is currently empty just to check that it works if we go to our catalog add one of the products go to the basket you can see it shows uh, but obviously we don't see any product uh, details yet because we didn't display them on the page we didn't populate them and display them on a within this table so um so it's working fine now if we go to back to the code and let's move to the next video when we're going to actually to when we're going to populate this um form and table with the details of the products